So Jay said that uh, you think started kind of clicking after, sort of incrementally this after the uh, Houston uh, weekend. What about that weekend sort of um, led to you sort of beginning to maybe feel more comfortable in the college level? Uh, well, it all started with like just getting comfortable with like playing in front of 25,000 people in Houston. So it's like we really, that's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I'm not going to see 25,000 fans many times in college baseball. So playing in front of them kind of set the bar and just everything else is just, I feel super, super comfortable and nothing's really too much, I feel like anymore. So I feel like it all started with just knowing, knowing where I'm at and being where my feet are. You said you got a baby too? Yep. So how did that work uh, coming here? Did you have to unload a lot of information, load up with new information, or was it kind of affirmation? Well, my dad has taught me how to hit my whole entire life, and he's he's always been on the swing. And I got here, and Jay was big on our approach and getting ready to hit. So I feel like they just kind of go good together, and they don't step on each other's toes or anything like that. So I feel like they both go really good together. You said you got good vision. Oh, well, I feel like I've always kind of been able to do that. I was just blessed. But uh, definitely getting here, getting my foot down on time really helps a lot with that. And it's just, it's like such a big difference. I can tell from like being able to pick up change ups and sliders in the dirt. It's all, it's always kind of been a problem for me, like going through high school and stuff. I would chase pitches. And ever since I've been here, uh, getting my foot down on time, I, I'm able to pick those up out of the hand and lay off of them. Is that kind of a mechanical piece that work on in the fall? Yeah, well, when I got here, I started off with a kind of open stance and a bigger leg kick, which caused me to be late on college pitching because it's a lot different than high school. So we kind of worked on getting my foot down earlier and not having as much of a leg kick and stuff like that. And I feel like that has made a big improvement. What's it like to be a freshman coming in here? You're kind of lucky because everyone's now on the same page as your staff. Everybody has to learn something, right? Did that help? Did you feel like you were swimming early and now you're kind of figuring it out? I feel like it's definitely an adjustment being a freshman here, but uh, everybody, we all started on a new page with, with our new coaching staff and everything. So it was like everybody's impression to coach was his first impression. So it wasn't like he came in with past knowledge on any other guys on our team. So I feel like it's just getting to know the coaching staff and stuff like that. That's the biggest thing for me. Is it easy? I think it's interesting because a lot of the freshmen now are stepping up and contributing, right? So is it easier, I guess, for a freshman who's just known this staff and doesn't have to kind of uh, well, I really wouldn't know because I haven't really talked to any other guys about it. But uh, for me personally, it's it's definitely been a smooth transition into the new coaching staff from high school. Obviously, I never got to play with the old coaching staff, but I feel like this coaching staff has done a great job at what they do and made it super easy. You mentioned that your dad was kind of big on swing and chase on approach. Like, mm -hmm. What's sort of the difference between those things? I would say the swing is like like the mechanics, like using your hands and using your lower body, stuff like that. And with Jay, it's like getting your foot down on time and seeing the pitch out of the hand, stuff like that. And all those together make a pretty good hitter. You had kind of all that hard work kind of culminating last weekend. What was that like for you to have that kind of impact in a big SEC road series? It was great. Uh, I've been working pretty hard in the weight room and on the field at practice. And I've just, I was just happy I was able to do something to help our team win. I was Sorry, obviously being kind of in and out of the lineup this year, how have you kind of kept yourself ready as a, as a freshman when those opportunities have come to you? Well, at the beginning of the year, I knew what my role would be as a pinch hitter, and I was always ready to do that. And then as the season went on, I was getting more at bats, stuff like that. And I just I just knew I had to, even if I wasn't in the starting lineup, I had to stay ready, ready to go in. And even if I wasn't in the starting lineup, it really didn't make a difference on how ready I was for the game. Can you talk about having How detailed is it? Is it game by game? Is it one weekend? Like, I'm just curious because it comes to you it's like, hey, this is what we're, we think we're going to need out of you this weekend, etc. Well, I would feel like per at bat, it definitely depends on the pitcher. Some pitchers pitch differently than others, but overall, it all kind of re revolves around not swinging at balls and swinging at pitches you can hit. Your brother was drafted by the Eagles in the third round. Right? Yep. What was it like kind of growing up with that as well? I mean, I mean, how much do you think that maybe seeing somebody ahead of you who's been successful help you as well? Uh, well, growing up, we always played like wiffle ball in the yard and stuff like that. So we were always super competitive. And it was never even like 
an imagination for us to get drafted or something like that. And then it finally happened to him and we were like, wow, like this could really be like our lives baseball. And he, he's just giving me tips and stuff like that on how like the mental part of the game and how, how hard it can be sometimes. You just gotta stay stay up and stay happy. And he's helped me with that a lot. What's an example of one that's been really beneficial for you? Well, like I know baseball is really hard. So like when you go in a slump or something like that, it's really easy to just get down in the dumps and have a horrible mindset. But he's been he's been good on telling me to like stay up and don't don't fall for all that. This season too? Yes. Well, that must <laughs> uh just good luck, I guess. Yeah. You start growing like this? Yeah. Yeah. What, what sort of reactions did you get from folks when your name uh, stuck in the news? Well, I got a lot of congratulations and stuff like that, but that really wasn't the goal or anything like that. It was just play the game. Thanks, Charles. Thank you all.